Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and we are at the Sunshine State Vintage Motocross Round 10 of their Motocross Series. Before we get started, we have to play What's in the Trailer, Dave? So, what did I bring? Well, okay, I'm at a vintage motocross show and my shop is Bullpen Cycles. So what would I bring, what would a shop called Bullpen Cycles bring to a vintage motocross show? I'll give you a hint, it ain't Montessa. So if you guessed Bull Taco, you guessed Right, but which full taco? Well, I have two. Two bull tacos. And I'm gonna give you a hint. They're both named after four-legged creatures. There's your hint. So let's get unloaded and see what we got. Alright, this doesn't count. This is a cannon bomb. And we if you saw my other video, we just finished it. So we're gonna take it for a shakedown rock. All right, we're all unloaded. We got this Husqvarna 125 WR, which means wide ratio. This was a one owner bike. I don't know if you saw it before in a previous episode. It's set up to actually ride with electronic ignition, Renthal bars, modern levers. We took off the guard that gets gunked up full of mud, but we have all the original parts. What year is your Husky? 75. Well, you're they on made, video. They made them in 75 and 6. I think this is the early one. So this is our cannon bomb from the previous video. You saw we did the motor on it. We're going to shake it down today. Now, if you guessed Bull Taco, you guessed right, but I told you the hint was four-legged creatures. So we'll start with the, the Matisse. Now, this isn't a Rickman Matisse. Rickman made a frame and produced a couple with Bull Taco engines, and Bull Taco copied the frame and produced their own version. Matisse means mutt. I don't know if Botaco actually used the Matisse name. It's a Model 11. A lot of people call this the Persang 1, Mark 1. But it's not a Mark 1. It's either a Matisse or a Model 11. If you look, weirdness. No chain adjuster on the back hub because it's done right here. Now here's a model 120 Persang. Persang means thoroughbred. So what they did is they went from the mutt to the thoroughbred. This is a model 120. The first year they went to blue and white to celebrate Jim Pomeroy. Now this has an aftermarket pipe and a McCooney. My red one wouldn't start, so we have to ride that one. And we got this ugly thing. 
This is an Italjet Kit Kat folding scooter. See, it folds here, seat pops down, and you're supposed to be able to lift it up and stick it in the trunk of your car. And I rode this around as a pit bike, and it's the most uncomfortable, god awful thing. So, a friend of mine is taking it off my hands. So, this, this show, uh, today's practice is a mixture of modern and vintage. And tomorrow's the vintage race. Uh, they've got classes for everything. They even have a, a no jump class for pretenders like me. Uh, one for drum brakes, one for disc brakes, and then it goes on up from beginner to expert. Uh, and, and there are people here, some that just go out for one lap and call it a day, and others that are here to win. So we'll see that tomorrow. And uh, this video is gonna be kind of a hybrid of the show videos and the race videos. You'll get to see, and I'm gonna try to purposely seek out some of the more interesting bikes that are here today.